Hello friends, this is Amar Sharma here. So today in this video, we are going to create our text to speech. So this will also help you in further more projects. So here I created you a two special videos. First is text to speech and second is voice to text. So you can get familiar about our speech recognition and speech synthesis API that is provided by the JavaScript. So, so here, first of all, this is the first video. So in this video, we are going to make our text to speech and this we are going to use HTML, CSS and bootstrap and our speech synthesis API. So here, when I will write some text here and when I will click on speak, So see that it is speaking. This is Rama Sharma. So actually I don't know uh, to you it is coming or not because I'm using my laptop here. So I don't know uh, it is joining the voice of my computer also my laptop also. So but this is speaking. So if you will check there, if you will check there, I will give the link in video description. So it is speaking very smoothly and it has some validation also so whenever we click on speak without adding anything so it will not speak anything so now without any delay let's go to our coding section here i have created two files here so first is index.html this is our index.html and second file is text to speech.js so i did not create a css file because i am going to use bootstrap here so all you know this is a basic snippet of our HTML and HTML5 is there and this is an attribute that you already know and this is our title and this is our bootstrap.css so you can go to uh, you can search on internet bootstrap CDN so you can get these all there so I'm using bootstrap 5 and this is script for the bootstrap 5 so I use bundle.min.js js and this is our text to speech dot js i have connected our text to dot speech dot js file also so this text to speech dot js is empty so now let's go further first of all let's create our basic structure so here i'm going to con uh, container here i'm going to type container and under the container first of all there will be one h1 tag and its class will be text center and padding top will be 5 padding top five, uh, 4 and padding bottom will be 5 here and here I am going to write text to speech recognition using JavaScript so we are going to use our rec speech recognition API that is provided by JavaScript here so and here I'm going to create one row here and there will be our column and It will be column medium 12 or let's create our column medium 5 and its MX will be auto and margin top will be 5 here and here just I am going to create one text area so text area will be there its name I don't want to write any name because I will use just ID here so I'm going to use our ID. So its ID will be our text and placeholder. Enter your text here. And here I want rows also. So here will be class. First of all, class will be form control and here I'm going to use form group
and under the form group this text area will be there and this same thing we want and instead of this now we want our button here its button type will be button here so because I am not using form so that's why its button type will be only button not submit and make sure you have to ma uh, make sure you have mentioned type is equals to button here because the default type of this button tag is submit the default behavior is submit because if you will use form here then its default behavior will be submit here and here I am going to write speak and here we are going to use class here class will be btn and btn block will be there and btn dark will be there save it and now let's check it open in browser see that this type of thing we are getting here so here we want to add rows also so here I'm going to add rows so rows I'm going to add 10 uh, 8 will be good so 10 will be very big and here I want one class here one more class that will be our border dark save it and margin margin y means from top to bottom margin will be one here save it and I'll check it so I'm going to reload this and see that now it is looking good I don't know but this button block is not working no issue margin y2 I can write mx auto here see that so now it is looking good here when I will write something so it will like that so now let's add javascript here so first of all let's create our speech synthesis function so I'm going to use arrow function here so that will be our read aloud so this will contain our message here and this will be our arrow function and here first of all we will create variable that will be our speech and we have to create a new function of our speech synthesis utterance so here we are going to cite our speech message so speech dot message will be our this one so that will be our text here will be our text will be our message and after that we have to set its rate so rate is equals to 1 so means how will be the speed and then we have to set our pitch so how much pitch will be there and then volume and volume will be also 1 and here we are going to apply window dot set uh, speech synthesis so because we are going to call this from the our function uh, from our window here so means our browser that is our object uh, means whole window so there are many events here so we are taking this event from our whole window here so here we are going to speak our speech and now let's create our variables here I'm going to create our one variable so that will be first of all will be our text area I'm going to copy this and here will be our text area document dot query selector and this will work like our jquery so here I'm going to use our text area and then we want our button here and this button we want copy this and I'm going to copy this whole copy this and paste it here and instead of text area I'm going to use button 
button here. So first of all, let's add here event listener button dot on click. If the user will click on the button, then there will be one function here. So this on click is an event that we are going to apply on button here. And let's take our text area dot value. Let's first work console this console dot log text area dot value. Save it. And now let's see. So first of all, I'm going to reload this and here I'm going to write like anything and click on speak function. See that we are getting our text here. So first of all, we have to check if its length is greater than or like that. So I'm going to write if text area dot value. So first of all, let's make a constant here. So I'm going to write text is equals to this one text area dot value. So here I'm going to write if text is equals to if text is equals to this one or there is space here. or there is space or simply we are going to write not equals to here then then we are going to speech here read loud copy this and we are going to send our text here save it and now let's check it so I'm going to reload this and here I'm going to write Click on speak. Here. See that this is speaking. Hello, this is Raman Sharma here. And here let's write anything here. So it will speak anything. See that. So whenever I write spaces here, so when it will, I will click on speak. So it will speak nothing here. So see that like that. So for today, this is enough. Now we completed our text to speech recognition and this, uh, this thing we are going to use in up upcoming projects also. And in the next video, next video will be based on the word voice to text. So this voice to that voice to text, we are going to use in our Google RegJS Google clone that our pending tutorials are there. So for today, this is enough. If you have any queries, please comment in one section. I will definitely respond. At last, thanks for watching.